Veronica Roberts, also known as Vero of the Point Caliste, who resided at Frequent St. George, passed away on Saturday, 26th October 2024, at the age of 84. She was the mother of Teresa Roberts and Nancy Campbell in Canada and Richardson Roberts in Grenada, grandmother of Kendra Walker and Cassandra Roberts in Canada, Chanel Charles in the USA, Kellen Roberts, Crystal Dundas, Raquel and Amir Roberts, great-grandmother of Corey Charles, Harvey Roberts, Nicholas and Naomi Walker, Eliza Brown and Chaya Brown, sister of Anastasia Rayburn in Grenada, Irika Roberts in the United Kingdom, Geneva Skeet in Canada, Marilyn Charles, also known as Lady Venus in the USA, Terence, Glenn and Pim Duncan, Bertrand Campbell and Elliot Skeet in Grenada. Many nieces and nephews, including Sally Ann Smith. Many other relatives and close friends, including Molly Frederick and family, Harris Roberts and family, the Smith, Mason and Roberts families of Caliste and Frequente, Maureen Peters, the Snag family of Caliste, the pastor and members of the Grand Arms Baptist Church and friends and neighbors of Caliste and Frequente. The funeral of the lead Veronica Roberts, also known as Vero, of the Point Caliste, who resided at Frequente St. George, will take place on Tuesday, November 12th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Grand Arms Baptist Church, Morris Bishop Highway, and entombment will be at the Family Cemetery Caliste. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Sheridan Crispin Thomas, also known as C. Gugu, of Central Guava State St. John, died on Friday, September 27th, 2024, at the age of 49 left to mourn his loving children Gabby Thomas and Devonte Coutain, sisters Jessie in Canada, Barbara Ashton and Lisa Thomas, both in the USA, and Najuma, brothers Jesse, Losky, Dominic, Paul Ashton, Shagari in Carolina, and Stephen Ferrero, also known as Riverboy. Close friends and family, Merrill Hutchinson and family, Michael, also known as Blacks and family, Audit Quashi and family, Annette Simeon and family, the Wilson, Banfield, Charles, Palmer and Thomas families, and the Williams family of St. Dominic Street, Grove. The funeral of the late Sheridan Crispin Thomas, also known as C. Gugu, of Central Grove Estate St. John, will take place on Wednesday, November 13th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Grove Anglican Church, according to Baptist rites, followed by interment at the Douglaston Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Agnes James, also known as Althea McPhee, Shorty and Short Girl, of Loretto Guave Estate St. John, passed away on Saturday, 19th October 2024, at the age of 87, left to mourn her close companion, Cyril Alexander, seven children, Eunice, Ennis, Bertrand McPhee, Veronica McPhee Cato, Janice McPhee Thomas, Michael Duncan, and Nathaniel James. She was the sister of Glennis in Canada, Rose, and Vita Charles in Grenada. Grandmother of 23, including Lester, Kevin, Davidson, LaSalle, Aloma, Dario, Nilon, Joshua, and Caden. Great grandmother of 32. Great great grandmother of 6. Mother in law of Lloyd Cato, Dexter Thomas, and Veron Duncan. Aunt of many in the USA, Canada, and Trinidad, including Burgess Quacko McPhee in the USA, Beatrice, Maria, and Alvin McPhee, Jenny Charles, Michael Woods Wilson in Grenada, and Andre McPhee in Trinidad. Other relatives including the Charles family of Victoria, Dr. Alistair and Twine, Cousin Vernus Alexis and family, the McPhee family of St. John, the Alexander family of Central Guava State, Jean Duncan and Cletus Louison of Guava State, Lucille Douglas and family of Guava Estate, the Barry and Cato family of Guava Estate, Michael Richard, Claude Bain, Pastor Mathena and family of the Faith Independence Baptist Church of Loretto, the James and Joseph families of Tivoli, and Tina Barry and family of Happy Hill, other relatives and friends of Loretto, Central Guava Estate, Florida and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Agnes James, also known as Althea McPhee, Shorty and Short Girl of Loretto Guava State will take place on Thursday, November 14th at 1.30 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. Peter's Roman Catholic Church, 
and entombment will be at the Douglaston Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Jippy Bowen of Manjalu St. George, a former employee of the Magistrates Court St. George's, passed away on Wednesday, October 30th, 2024, at the age of 66. He was the husband of Teresa Bowen, father of Petrina, Christine, Antonia, and Kelai, grandfather of Ori Thomas, brother of Beryl Isaac, Myrtle Jeremiah, Joy Bowen Thomas, Gemma, Hank, and Michelle Bowen, son-in-law of Agnes Pascal, brother-in-law of Desmond Isaac, David Jeremiah, Winston Thomas, Winston Lewis, Augustine, Patrick, and Anne Pascal, uncle of 14, including Patrick, Anne and Karen Bowen in the USA, Judy Bowen, Sherry and Courtney, Ian and Leon Bowen, Andre Bowen in Canada, and Jason Mapson. Granduncle of 38, great granduncle of 17, caregiver and good friend, Joel Hunt. Many cousins, other relatives and close friends, including the Bowen family of Mongelou, Marion, St. David, St. Patrick, and in Trinidad, the Goddard and Jones families of Happy Hill, the Moore and Binder families of Calivini and Marion, Hilda Francis and family of Marion, the Lewis family also of Marion, Troy Philip and family of Mamican, Cinti Blake and family of Woburn, Marva and Lindsay Cohen and family of Mount Carmel, the Charles, Pascal and Edwards families of Mount Craven and Fontenoy, the management and staff of the River Sally Credit Union, and friends and neighbors of Marianne, Calivini, Woburn, Woodlands, Mongelou, and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Jippy Bowen of Mongelou St. George will take place on Thursday, November 14th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Garden of Remembrance Funeral Chapel, Cemetery Hill St. George's, according to Roman Catholic rites, and interment will be at the St. George's Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. James Ted Joseph, commonly called Ted, of Windsor Forest St. David, who resided at Happy Hill St. George, retired Senior Extension Agricultural Officer, passed away on Thursday, October 31st, 2024, at the age of 84. He was the husband of Elsa Joseph, also known as Emily or Musi, father of Pastor Anne Natasha Joseph, Damien Joseph and Verna Mitchell in the USA, Dillion Joseph, Carrie Lewis, June and Kathy and Jones, Derek and Andy Andrew in Grenada, and Andrea Williams in the United Kingdom. Brother of Margaret Netta Joseph. Grandfather of 29 including Daniel, Marcus, Menon and Destiny Joseph, Jelani Mitchell, Celine Lewis, Justine Jones, Anton Andrew, Karen McSween, Neilon Antoine and Abira Williams. Great grandfather of 12. Father-in-law of Dolores Frank Andrew, Beverly Thomas, Stephen Williams and Winsley Charles. Brother-in-law of Doyle and Gracelyn Mitchell and Leonard Batiste. Gloria Charles and family in the United Kingdom, Merle Antoine and family in Trinidad and Gregory Batiste in Canada. Many nieces and nephews including Irma Lynch, Silas and Gabriel Mitchell, Donna Charles, Anastasia De Silva, Verna Brazan, Teresa, Pascal, Marjorie, Diane, and Nicole Joseph. Many other relatives and friends, including Dr. Jude Antoine and family, Nurse Ruth Bishop, Nurse Jennifer Thomas, Anthony and Charmaine Hood, Roy Pascal and family, Teacher Anna, Laurel Bartholomew and family, Josh and Agatha Welsh, Ronnie, Josiah, Jeffrey, Christine and Suzanne Antoine, Indra Baldio, Wilfred Charles and family, Claudette Hood, Mrs. Muriel Mitchell and family, Helena Sandy, Teresa McQueen, Lelia Gittens, June Patrick and family, Keisha Sylvester, Mr. Bennett, Romeo Antoine, Godfrey Augustine, Henry Nurse, Roosevelt Haling, Malachi Dottin, Mr. Honorary, Mr. Regis, The Joseph, Telesford, Gabriel, Brazan and Samuel families of St. David, the Francis family of St. Paul's, the Batiste family of Grand Mall, the Mitchell family of Happy Hill, Stephanie and Twine and the boys on the block, members of the Uganda Martyrs Catholic Church, and neighbors and friends of Happy Hill and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late James Ted Joseph, commonly called Ted, of Windsor Forest St. David, 
who resided at Happy Hill St. George, will take place on Friday, November 15th at 1 p.m. Funeral service will be held at the Uganda Martyrs R.C. Church, Happy Hill St. George, and interment will be at the Family Cemetery, Happy Hill. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. William Reason of Mount Panasso St. George passed away on Wednesday, October 30th, 2024, at the age of 93. He was the father of four, stepfather of one, grandfather of seven, great-grandfather of three, great-great-grandfather of one, many nieces, nephews, other relatives and close friends. The funeral service for the late William Reason of Mount Panasso St. George will take place on Friday, November 15th at 11.30 a.m. Funeral service will be held at the St. George's Anglican Church, Church Street, and entombment will be at the St. George's Centre Cemetery. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. When a loved one passes on, we all need the comfort, support and guidance of a trusted friend. You can rely on Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. We provide a personalized professional service that exceeds all expectations. Our dedicated staff responds to your every need with the greatest detail, ensuring affordability with a variety of options. Our upgraded state-of-the-art facilities, spacious air-conditioned chapel with live internet streaming, a modern environmentally safe crematorium, the only of its kind on island, private viewing spaces, large on-site repair center, a modern transportation fleet. Join our burial society today and make personalized arrangements for that final moment. As you prepare to enter your loved one into eternal rest, visit or call the Quar Brothers Funeral Home and select a package that brings added comfort to the entire family. The Quar Brothers Funeral Home and Burial Society, continuing a tradition of excellence. Randolph Charles, also known as Randolph Campbell, Scotty and High Price, of Mount Horn St. Andrew, who resided at Lackalome, West Hall, St. David, passed away on Tuesday, 29th October 2024, at the age of 71. The funeral arrangements for the late Randolph Charles, also known as Randolph Campbell, Scotty and High Price, of Mount Horn St. Andrew, who resided at Lackalome, West Hall, St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Jacqueline Julian Blackman, also known as Jackie, of La Fortune St. Patrick, passed away on Sunday, November 3rd, 2024, at the age of 37. The funeral arrangements for the late Jacqueline Julian Blackman, also known as Jackie, of La Fortune St. Patrick, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Margaret Batiste of Grand Bacal at St. Andrew passed away on Sunday, November 3rd, 2024, at the age of 81. The funeral arrangements for the late Margaret Batiste of Grand Bacal at St. Andrew will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Camille Charles, also known as Baby, of Victoria St. Mark, passed away on Wednesday, October 30th, 2024, at the age of 37. The funeral arrangements for the late Camille Charles, also known as Baby, of Victoria St. Mark, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Elsa Cuffey of St. John, who resided in the United Kingdom and at Calivany St. George, passed away on Thursday, October 24, 2024, at the age of 86. The funeral arrangements for the late Elsa Cuffey of St. John, who resided in the United Kingdom and at Calivany St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Home. Beruf's uh, Carlton Doyle, also known as Phantom, a well-known taxi driver of La Fortune St. Patrick, who resided at Bolio St. George and Malty St. David, died on Sunday the 27th of October at the age of 88. The funeral arrangements for the late Beresford Carlton Doyle, also known as Phantom, of La Fortune St. Patrick, who resided at Bolio St. George and Malty St. David, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. 
Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's funeral home. Teresa Harris, also known as Mon and Auntie Mon of Coast Guard St. Mark, passed away on Wednesday, 23rd October 2024, at the age of 55. The funeral arrangements for the late Teresa Harris, also known as Mong and Auntie Mong of Coast Guard St. Mark, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. Cretus Aiden Sylvester of Content St. David, who resided in Tortola, a former police officer attached to the Coast Guard and former employee of Grentel Cable and Wireless, died on the 11th of October 2024 at the age of 60. Funeral arrangements for the late Cletus Aiden Sylvester of Contents and David will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thank you for watching. Fourteen and verse thirteen. Blessed is the dead that die in the Lord. If your loved one died in the Lord, you have nothing to worry about. You could be confident that that one is in a better place. But what about you who are left behind to mourn? What if you had been called? Were you ready? If you are not ready, you can be ready while you are alive. The word of God says it's appointed unto man wants to die. But after this is the judgment. So you can live. And after death, you're going to live forever. You would not be disintegrated into nothing. You would be living forever. So while you are alive is the time to be ready to meet the Lord. I would like to encourage you to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ while you are still on the earth, there is no repentance after death. The time is now. The Lord Jesus Christ gave his life on the cross so that you can have life. And while you are living, is the time to make it right with the Lord. Jonah said in, in Jonah chapter 4 and verse 3, yeah. it is better to die than to live. So the dead should be happy if they die in the Lord. If you are not sure that you are ready, if your time comes, you can be ready. You can be ready even at this very moment. If you'd only open your heart to receive the Lord Jesus Christ and pray this simple prayer. Just say, Lord Jesus, I am sad because my loved one has gone, but I am left behind and I want to be ready when my time comes. So I'm asking you to forgive me for my sins. I'm asking you to give me eternal life. Forgive me, cleanse me from all unrighteousness and save me so that when my time comes, I can live with you. I trust that you meant what you said. I trust that you believe the word of God. And as we end this program for you, with you, encouraging you, strengthening you in your time of sorrow, your preparation for your time should be now. God bless you and see you next time. Amen. Amen.